Scattered showers with thunderstorms possible overnight tonight. These will start in southeast Georgia, then move into northeast Florida, and then exit the area by sunrise tomorrow. And it is a cold front, but we're not going to feel the cold coming in from it. As a matter of fact, Saturday will be hotter than what we'll see here for today, prompting what could be another round of heat advisories. The Caribbean waters continue to show at least some signs, but it's down to 10 percent. There's possible formation, slow formation here as it encounters areas of Belize, then into Mexico and beyond that, it looks like that will be done. It's the Pacific that remains active with a tropical storm developing and a hurricane that's already swirling today. Hot with those late day showers coming in 7 to 8 o'clock into southeast Georgia and then moving south of the areas. We wake up and get the day started on Saturday. Sunday not as hot and it is going to be drier. There goes that cold front that will push through overnight tonight. Some inland showers and storms will remain possible and that's under the onshore flow. So if you're looking to get away from any of the showers and storms and stay with what will be hotter conditions, then head on over to the beaches. Those will be the best bets here for what will be a 10% chance along the 95 corridor out to the beaches. And it will be cooler with the onshore flow. We're talking about temperatures that are still summer-like. They're in the 90s, albeit cooler than what we'll see on Saturday. And then the trend continues with those lower 90s. First day of summer on Tuesday. Weather Authority forecast, always a click away at News for Jacks, a shout away and your favorite devices.